And the comings and goings also include this year Buff State University. A new president is coming. I hope he's ready for the snow. What attracted you to Buffalo State mm. University? Now, I'm attracted to opportunities to do something that matters. Um, even the role I'm in now was, it had that flavor. Uh, I was a dean as a, at the College of Engineering, Technology, Physical Sciences at Alabama A&M. Similar kind of thing. And even when I was back in Rochester many years ago, it's a similar opportunity to build, to grow, and to do something that matters in a community that is open to it. How do you plan to address retention and enrollment, which has seen a decline? Starting right off the bat is trying to transform the university into a place that is known for being uh, a, a, a home for the students. This is all about the students. I care about students, and I want that reflected throughout up and down the university's uh, representation that the students matter. This is a place that is there for them. Whatever challenges they may have as they come and navigate their, their um, uh, academic career path, we're there to help them along. Higher education today is not the higher education of yesterday. Students, they have a plethora of issues that they're dealing with, whether it's work, whether it's family, uh, school. How do you lead a university to ensure that the students are heard and that they are also yeah. educated well? It's important that universities meet that change and shift the way they do business in order to stay up with that. And I think that's, I'm seeing that all across the, the, the United States. I look forward to drafting a strategy together with the community there and with the constituents on the campus, coming up with a strategy that will address that very issue. Interesting that you want to get community involvement. Does yes. your plan include new programs that are going to be tailored to the students of today? I do because um, one of one of the things that is important. It, I look at multidisciplinary uh, programs as a key. I'm sure yeah. you are aware that there's a deficit, um, yes. and I know you don't know all the ins and outs of it just yet. But any right. plans right now to address it, whether it's reducing or eliminating programs that are just not seeing growth, and obviously layoffs, if that's even a possibility or some, something that you're thinking about. But any thoughts on that budget deficit? Well, I, I have to get in there and, and see what's going on, and you know, understand the structure a lot better. Uh, so I'm going to be coming in there, rolling my sleeves up you know proverbially and and uh and, and get into work on those issues i can't say about cuts and things like that at this time it's just too early to, to talk about you talked about your background a little bit uh professor of electrical engineering yeah. you're an inventor tell us about your invention <laughs> oh wow yeah start talking about that we, we, we'll be here for a long time <laughs> but i'll try to summarize it in a couple of ways um First of all, uh, developed a, um, a, a technology in additive manufacturing, and now we have a, a 3D printer that can actually print electronic devices, and we're about to get that out into the market. And I've been working with uh, uh, people in the uh, United Negro College Fund to launch a design competition based upon that, and hopefully, and keep our fingers crossed, might be able to you know, get uh, Buff State plugged into this as well. I'm a big Star Trek fan. You can probably see on the, the poster back there some of my people <laughs> who recognize that. And, um, you know, I, I, I keep a, a, a Starship Enterprise nearby <laughs> just just as an inspiration but i was drawn to things like star trek but particularly star trek because of the picture it paints of the future a future where different people are working together to do these amazing things and to overcome challenges take advantage of opportunities sail the stars and and do amazing things together so one one technology that i'm actually working on and it's been funded by the uh the national science foundation is to try to develop warp drive technology hmm. now i know it sounds far out there but we have a process that you know we've, we've looked at that may have potential 
and we've been funded to chase it. What's your leadership so style going to be like when you come to Buffalo State University? Well, I believe in a collaborative one, and I've learned that over the years. So collaborating, communicating, and building consensus, that will be the style uh, that I take on. We had a little bit of hint of patience thrown in there, too. Finally, Dr. Glenn, you're a singer, songwriter, and a Grammy nominee. Will we see you <laughs> singing on campus somewhere along Elmwood Avenue? And tell us about that Grammy nomination. Well, if, if they will have me, of, of, of course. I mean, I, you know, I, I, I love to sing. I grew up singing. That's kind of where it all started. And so I, I've written a lot of songs um, and then went and recorded them, created the first album is called The Praise Project, First Fruits. It's out there. You can still find it. I look forward to meeting people, getting involved in organizations, doing things, uh, not only on the campus, but out within the, the greater Buffalo region.